Hi guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen, also known as Kimber Kiss here on YouTube. We're going to do a Syrian starseed reading today. They wanted me to grab my energy oracle cards. And before I get into this, I just wanted to ask you all how you're doing, how you're feeling. I love you all so much. I've been thinking about you guys a lot. And I've definitely been taking time for myself um, and just kind of following my intuition and my heart and my soul to wherever it's guiding me at that moment in time. So definitely going with the flow of things, definitely just like kind of staying to myself. And <clears throat> it's been really good. Um, it's been much needed actually for quite a while. Um, I have a project that I'm going to be working on and I want to get your guys' input. So you're going to be part of my project. I purchased, <laughs> I purchased a bunch of cards, um, and I'm going to be using them for starseed readings and just multiple readings, even twin flame too. So I wanted to, if, if you want to contribute, um, like a message or a saying, um, it could be like as simple as uh, forget me not or something like that or I don't know like any kind of word like electric impulses or any kind of thing that comes to mind that you feel like just comes to your mind right away write it in the comments below please I'll include it in this deck of cards because I want to include the collective consciousness in the work that I do um, I'm going to be doing some pretty cool things coming up here so stay tuned but if you think of anything that you want to see on these cards or just just think of like whatever comes to mind within your first uh, gnosis of your intuition, solar flash, uh, crystal, um, any kind of word, any kind of phrase that you would want to see or that just comes to your mind, let me know and I'll include it with these deck of cards. Okay. And I might give you a shout out too. So leave me a comment below <clears throat> letting me know what you want to see on these cards, please. Everybody. I don't care how silly it is <laughs> just anything star cd anything higher dimensional anything twin flamey anything that you would actually want to see on the cards too <clears throat> i actually have two stacks of these i have one that's going to be like specifically starseed and one that's going to be specifically twin flames so first chakra archangel michael the root chakra damn and i've been getting the color red i think that came through one of the last readings right um yeah the root chakra and i talked about getting to the root also <clears throat> oh my gosh you guys are going on a journey in syrian starseeds you're walking away from something and going on a journey of self-discovery. A huge journey of self-discovery. That's why the root chakra came out. Because in order to take this leap and in order to go on this journey where you're walking away and you're just kind of discovering yourself, you have to know how to ground in any situation. Um, whether that be at home, away from home. Um, you have to know techniques on how to ground your energy body. That is so weird. What is outside my the moon? <clears throat> you guys. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I was like, what is that light? It's, if you can't see it, I'll try. It's right there. It's like looking at me. So I feel like you're gonna be really tapping into light sources of the cosmos um in a multitude of ways. For example, the other night I saw a bunch, like a plethora of UFOs and light ships. I'm not even kidding you guys. All around my house, like swarming my house. Like, and it was crazy because there was one in the front yard. I went outside like 10 minutes later, it wasn't there anymore. It was like stationary. I thought it was a planet at first.
but it was blinking at me and then it like was moving. And then there was like another one I found and then that one was by the moon. I think that one might be a planet, but then there was one behind our house that was flashing, repeatedly flashing and it was communicating telepathically with me. And while I was recording it, I didn't hear music, but after recording it and listening back, there's like this music in the background. You can kind of hear it, it sounds like Arabic music kind of. really interesting but it kept telling me what was it telling me it told me three things um don't worry no we miss you don't worry it'll be okay we miss you don't worry it'll be okay so healer of the ages too okay wow i'm getting so many like frequencies the moon is really really interfering here in a good way with all these like high Frequencies, they want you to work with crystals and like rocks, not just crystals, but actual rocks as well, because they're very grounding. Ah, I see. What is the moon? The moon is a big rock. So of course it wants you to grow accustomed to its energy because you're going to be working with the moon to heal. <clears throat> you're actually going to be healing the moon. The moon is in need of healing. So people say it's like a, a space station for negative alien agendas. Um, well, newsflash, there aren't just negative alien agendas in one specific location. Anywhere you go while you're here on the earth has duality to it. So there's both positive and negative. Okay, which is why it needs healing. As we ascend, we ascend other planets and we ascend other uh, star system structures, such as nebulas and all kinds of things. So, uh, comets, meteorites, me meteors, um, so a bunch of stuff's just coming in. I'm just kind of going with the flow of it, see what's coming through. But, like, see how there's a light source up here? And when I look at it, it looks circle, like, round, like the moon. God, <laughs> things are happening. Look at all this. She's lit by the moonlight, the night light. Okay, so notice how it's dark here. Notice how you're leaving this to go to face the dark, but it's like you're leaving the dark to go towards the light. So you've done both and now you're going towards the light, <clears throat> but you're not afraid to go towards the light in the dark. You're not afraid anymore. So it's a huge transition here, Syrians. You also know that like your own body in and of itself is a light source. So even if it was pitch black at night, it won't matter because you are the light. You are the light. And once you learn secrets of the light sources on how they accumulate their light and shine it out by tapping into their frequencies and learning, they're going to teach you how to shine your light more by you incorporating these frequencies and then shining them out is what the moon just told me. Um, you're definitely going to be healing a lot of people. And you may doubt this, which is why it's in the reverse, or maybe you've never done it before, but you're going to be doing it more and more. It's really beautiful. You have your own unique ways of doing so. They're telling me table of contents, table of contents. If there's a book that you've been thinking of that's been kind of subtly presenting itself in your mind's eye, like you've been thinking about the book or it's been kind of popping up in your third eye, they want you to go to the table of contents, trust what you're drawn to and go to that page and read about it. So instead of putting the pressure on yourself to read the whole entirety of the book, especially in order, what they want you to do is go to the table of contents, trust what you're drawn to and then read that and do that tonight if you remember or if you feel called to. But always trust yourself, trust what is presented to you. But I feel like this has been a common theme and this is just a subtle way that 
your guides and your higher ET beings of light are communicating with you. Your higher ET beings of light, by the way, are just higher dimensional aspects of you. On Walking Away and Healer of the Ages, we have a contract here. It's interesting how we have male and female as well, female and male, both in the reverse. It's like they're both finding themselves. I'm definitely getting like twin flame thing here. I'm also getting you walking away from a karmic situation, person, place, or thing. And trusting yourself and remaining balanced um, by trusting yourself and your heart fully and going forth with courageousness because you've learned how to ground in any situation. We have the thinking woman. So a woman really studying a lot, um, journaling a lot, maybe writing short stories or writing. Uh, I see you like accumulating facts of ancestries and then coming to your own gnosis or um, your own hypothesis of what actually occurred from your viewpoint and perspective. I see a lot of abundance coming in, blossoming abundance. So it might be slow, but it's coming in. I see a lot of anxiety as well. And then under contract, we have door to romance in the reverse. So <clears throat> you could be like coming out of some sort of romantic contract, going towards a world. You're going to know who has deceived you and you are using this energy as fuel to go towards manifesting anything that you want. Could even be a love partnership. Your man holding the heart. So in the heart chakra here. And look, we also have the thinking man. So look, we have the thinking man in the reverse. We have the thinking woman in the upright. You are learning how to utilize both left and right hemispheres of your brain to create this abundance for yourself. So you're going to be doing different brain techniques here in the future that you might not even be consciously aware that you're doing them, but you are. Um, for example, if I'm tapping into the moon's energy, the moon's energy, quote unquote, is, it's both. It's divine feminine, divine masculine, but holds a more feminine energy to it. If I'm tapping into the sun, the solar energy has a more uh, masculine energy to it. So you can switch between each and you can learn how to uh, introduce different levels of these each into the work that you're going to be doing. They want you to definitely work with water Syrian star seeds because you come from a water world. So tapping into water, trusting the messages that you receive from water, also like water crystals, so like Lemurian crystals and pretty much anything blue really that reminds you of the ocean will help you to tap into that frequency just by simply envisioning it in your third eye. You don't have to own a crystal. You can look at one that reminds you of the ocean online and visualize it within your third eye and then tap into that frequency. You can look at the ocean of its, as in and of itself. If you can't get to an ocean, again, look at one online and tap into that frequency. Listen to the waves. Listen to what the universe is trying to tell you. And upon you incorporating this like divine masculine, divine feminine and very different approaches like you can do both from the left brain approach and both from the right brain approach and both from the center cerebral pineal approach okay and you're going to be learning how to utilize all of these within the technicalities of every stream of income that you're utilizing here the train wow divine emphasis from spirit I'm hearing warning warning you need to go you need to go explore we have a man holding a coin i think there's going to be someone coming in that's really going to help you with your finances as well and look we have women holding a coin one in the reverse one in the upright again divine feminine divine masculine blossoming abundance literally what i just talked about right here we'll set them on top of blossoming abundance you're going to be finding your door to value through every Thing in the past that has broken your heart every hostility that you've come into contact with is being used in a formidable approach to where you are literally creating your income and you're manifesting really high intensities of spectral light through these lower negative occurrences that have happened to you in your past because you've transmuted these which means you're on a whole other level of transmuting which means you're on a whole other level of being able to incorporate light frequencies and also emanate them out <clears throat> by you having overcome these things you're on a whole other level for most people actually if this resonates for you the message is for you 
I want you to pull this one and this one. So there's indecision here, but there's stored to spirit here. And all they want you to do is trust and go with the flow and trust what spirit is showing you, which is just your higher self. So trust what your higher self is showing you to do and then go into that realm. It could be a portal. It could be like a different spot within your mind space. Um, it could be physical, but trust it. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple tarot. Forward movement. You're going to be defending your honor left and right, but you do so just by walking through the storm. And look, the chariot. So you've mastered duality and now you're here to move forward. You've balanced it and now you're here to move forward. Pull some of these. What can I get for the Syrians? Syrian star seeds. Trust the divine plan. Trust the divine plan. This is really cool because it actually came through my last twin flame reading. So if you want to check that out, um, trust the divine plan here. There's definitely a divine plan at work and it's asking of you to trust it. <clears throat> spirit animals. Pay close attention to your spirit animals that you notice that you see. Um, I've seen a praying mantis, I've seen a grasshopper, I've seen a cricket, and I've seen a bunny. A groundhog was presented to me. So trust the spirit animals, hummingbirds, divine masculine, divine masculine. Larimar is a crystal they want you to work with. That also looks like the ocean. A fun thing you can try is like tapping into your divine masculine energy when gazing upon the moon and then tapping into your divine feminine energy when gazing upon the sun and just see what happens alchemically. Realizing your art from the creator's perspective. So you're not going to worry so much about how people perceive your art or people perceive what you have to say because you know from the creator's perspective that it's already perfect and it's unique in your own form. And you've come to bring this frequency to the earth. Look, and new earth. Look, light language. So I'll hold this up for you. Receive the frequencies here. A lot of your art holds a lot of the new earth frequency. I mean, look at just light language in and of itself. That's an art and it's holding this new earth frequency. You hold the new earth frequency. You are the art. You are the art from the creator and the creator through the creator. The creator through you. Look, the creator through you, it says you are my other half. You are our source's twin flame. All of us are source's twin flame. We are their other half. <clears throat> wow. Profound. I might title it that because that is so profound. Look, we have quantum healing and we have healer of the ages. If you're feeling disconnected from your higher self, it's only because you're doubting yourself. And what's going to happen is divine intervention is where you tr just start trusting your higher self and it just starts coming through. <clears throat> and you express a lot of your love through frequency rather th than through words. Okay, light language could also be um, a, a way of utilizing this frequency. We have quantum healing. So remember, we had heal of healing, healer of the ages. We have quantum healing here. Definitely light workers, love warriors here. I feel you around me. So you might feel like your divine masculine around you. And then I feel like you both, you and your divine masculine, utilize time travel technologies. Okay, so that does complete this reading. Um, like I said, I'm making a whole deck of cards. 
write down in the comments below what you would want to see on these cards, like a phrase, like a star seed phrase, a twin flame phrase, like anything that you think would be different or unique. Um, I want to incorporate the collective consciousness within this little project that I'm doing. So please write that phrase or word or a few words down in the comments below. I'll check them out. And if I like it, I'll add it to the deck of cards um, if it resonates. And I love you all so much. Siri and Starseas, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you doing? We have so much fun here. Magic just naturally happens here. And I love you all so much. Until next time, guys and gals, and it's beautiful Siri and Starseeds, I will talk to you soon. Bye now. Oh, and listen to the dolphins at night. Listen to the dolphins and the whales. Do you like a dolphin or whale meditation at night? It'll really help you. I love you. Bye now.